Good evening, everybody. Dragon Warrior here. Uh, tonight we're going to do a Sentinel 70 base, the new layout. A um, couple guys uh, I, I've been talking to, I've been asking how these are done. Um, some of them have all the equipment, they just don't have the technology. So the first thing I do is I bring in just two regular tunes. I'm going to leave Kara out right now. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring Sheila in. We'll make sure that we only have Sheila selected, and we're going to bring her up. Now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to drop in my Banshees. I'm going to leave those hover right over those, and we're just going to take Kara straight up at this outside lead preserver. And we're going to watch, and you notice I have my mouse sitting back here behind my Special Force units. We're going to pull these... You'll notice they all start running as soon as you do the one shot and you back Kara out fast. Let them pull away from this tank. And now we're going to move forward. And we're going to engage with the wingmen. Once we do that, we're going to select all of our special forces. We're going to bring them forward. These units are now selected onto the wingmen to do some damage. They may hit and do a little bit of damage on the Banshees themselves. But we're just going to walk these right in here and we're going to take out each of these special force units She's come over here. And we're going to take our platoon with the charged ordnance on it. And we're going to run it right up this right hand wall at this plasma, or ion, I should say. Now, once it's out, we can bring in the rest of the special forces to drop it faster. Now that it's gone, we'll back out. Sometimes you may take a shot off of this air tower when you reverse your direction. So we're going to take all those guys and we're just going to select Kara. Sorry, Sheila. You can use Kara, you can use Brother Jeremiah. They have the speed on them. I like Sheila because she seems to move the fastest. And we're going to go at this outside preserver. And you want to kind of make sure that you're almost on this line right here. That way you pull both the units of special force at the same time. They'll come running. We're going to select our Banshees after Sheila's moving back. I'm going to let it get away from the tank again. And we're going to come forward, do the same thing, let them engage the wingmen. Once the wingmen are now being engaged, we're going to bring our special force units forward again to drop these preservers really fast, as fast as we can. Once you're at this point, your Banshees are pretty much done for this mission. You can also retreat. Or, well, I'm going to retreat my carry unit. Once she's gone, I'm going to deploy this unit. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. That was a little too early because I do need Sheila still for this first initial tank here. 
So we'll get rid of that. We'll bring Sheila back in. We'll set our guys right about here where all the wingmen went down. And you come in at an angle to bait this tank. This is why you want to make sure you don't have any charged ordinances on Sheila, Kara, whoever you're using. Once you bait, he's running back. You can engage and stop him. We're going to go ahead and drop him. We can actually take Kara out of this battle at this point. And once she has left battle, we'll go ahead and bring the Kara unit in. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have the other heavy gunner there with the charged ordinances. So now I have two charged ordinances running. The reason I have two charged ordinances for this is because when we go at this um, ion here, sometimes this tank will pull, sometimes it won't. We hope it doesn't. But if it does, it does. So we take that and then I select just one squad because I want the charge ordinance running on that plasma or that ion. So the tank didn't move. But if it does, you want to make sure you have one selected just so that it's got the other charge ordinance on it so you can stop that tank from running at you. Now that we've got that done, we can come right back over here towards the middle. guys with the charge ordinance catch up come right at the tank at the center that back tank will stay still actually ran out of time I'm going a little bit slow here than normal because I am doing the recording for you this one will go a little bit faster because we just deploy on in Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of attrition, but for a 70, it's minimal. We'll come straight at that tank to take him out. We'll take a couple pot shots off the sniper over here. come forward. As soon as that door opens, I hit defend so I can kill all the Reapers. The Reapers, if they engage you, will do a lot of damage. They do have Ion on them. And there are quite a few, so it does take a bit to take these out. Now we can go ahead and take that. And then we'll take the silo next, the rocket silo. We'll take a few shots shortly here off of that tower. We're going to slide over here. I'm going to take the tower and I'm going to select one of my groups because this tank will pull. As soon as he starts pulling, I'm going to engage to stop him. I'm going to let the other guys take the ground units that came out of the air tower, and then I'm going to come up and bring out all my SF to take this tank as quickly as possible. Once we take that, we come across, engage this air tower. Air tower is going to go down. We take the guys that come out of it, come towards the silo, and hit defend for the same thing. We'll get rid of 
all of these reapers so that they don't fire on us. Once that's done, we can engage the silo and take it out. We can go ahead and retreat all these guys and you can use whatever air you want at this point for cleanup work and yeah there is a, there is a guy over here we'll kind of run this direction see if we can't pop him out still running we'll try and see if we can't catch him off guard pop your 70. I'll keep the Iraq army. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.